finally got to London. This doesn't right. usually happen when you get to London, right? London is known for being incredibly expensive. And these guys are giving away free coke. It's like, it's amazing. It doesn't have anything over cherry. And I'm not endorsing coke for this. I am very shortly going to be meeting up with Roz, who's from uh, Point Break. I keep getting confused whether it's Point Break or Point Blank. So yeah, we're going to have a chat with her. See how things are going down there. And I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward, I, this cold is ridiculous. My hands are freezing right now. But, there you go. All right guys, so this is where I'm meeting uh, Roz. Problem is, is I'm half an hour early. This is where I meet at Pret and Monje. I think I said that right. Someone called it Pret and Manager once. That's definitely not that. What the hell am I gonna do with my time? I mean, I'm in the middle of London. So to be honest, this isn't like my most natural place to be. On top of that, <laughs> it's my first time. I've done vlogging in Manchester. Vlogging in London is a completely different thing. So yeah, I'm waiting for Roz. And then hopefully a little bit later, after I see Roz, I'm going to speak to Anon, the artist, the official a drop is tag in there. Recording some new material today, which should be really, really exciting. So hopefully we can get a little glimpse of that. I've just got to wait for Roz. I mean, what, what can I do? I mean, I am on off to the circus, so I could go shopping. I could go looking for. I mean, there's not really a lot on the street. There's Subway. It's a script. That's a car shop. It's a bit too early to buy Christmas cards. Cameras. I'm sorted. I have uh, just come out of uh, Prete Mange, uh, and this is the wonderful Roz. Hello. Say hello, Roz. <laughs> so I, I was wrong earlier. It wasn't point. Break. It was it point wasn't blank. Point break. That was completely. Like, you, yes. Yeah, she did crack up with that. But yeah, so we've just had some lunch now, and you've got to go back to WME. What's WME? A global booking agency. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Very very fancy. She's like, yeah, it's like it is me walking around the streets of London with a camera, and she's actually working in the music industry. Unfortunately, I can't take you. Unfortunately, not. Well, I've got a job to go back to. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm the jobless guy. <laughs> side of London to where I was and uh, I'm now just walking down to go and meet up with Anon and on the artist official if you haven't checked him out yet this is the time to do so I thought whilst I'm walking along things are a little bit calmer I'd actually explain the reason for why I'm doing this for a couple of reasons reason number one it's easy to forget that on social media, every person you interact with and speak to is a human being, has got a life of their own, is doing their own things. For me, I think it's, it's a wasted potential because if you can find someone on social media, now, I will say this, yes, you have got to be careful. You don't know who you're meeting, it could be anyone there. And the other reason is, I'm a very firm believer of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. One of the reasons why I'm doing it personally is to push me again so far outside of my comfort zone. Some people around here can be a bit, and so it is difficult, but it's all about pushing past your limitations. It's all about breaking outside of your comfort zone and pushing yourself further and further and further until you realize that the limitations that you create are inside your own head. Nearly an on, and this is gonna be fun. Still got so much of the day left here. Yeah. I'm exhausted. My mind was a million miles per hour, trust. Cause when I was just 17, I was performing alongside then dubs at LSA Unsigned. I had a different name back then growing up. I thought I was gonna blow too. How did I fuck all that shit up? It's looking like it's the time where I can say now people have heard me and it's mad. Looking back, I guess I was set this path since early. Believe your boy, when I bust that liver, can I say that I've had a mad journey? Cause you've only heard straight facts. Everything that I say is certain. This place, this place is sick as well. <laughs> like honestly, I would love a studio like this. I came down to meet and um, because yeah. you were saying like you found me through one of my posts on Instagram. Oh, and can I just say it? Yeah, that was that was inspiring. I see this guy's post. The sponsor I see it come up and it said, "I'm leaving my job. Like I've got nothing. Da 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 da. Going for but you know what? I'm leaving it. I'm going for." And I thought that's that's a bit like what I'm doing, bro. Just going for it. And I thought I need to watch this guy's journey. <laughs> fucking 
pleasure watching. <laughs> Mate, it Mate, well, honestly, honestly, so, honestly. This, this guy right here, this guy right here. You, you know, me like I like loads of different music. I like loads of different art and creativity. But you've got such a story to tell, man. Yeah, like the man. fire and your passion, and also you're so talented. Appreciate that, man. Yeah. I just want to raise awareness. You know, like tell my story, bro. It was all about my diagnosis, getting borderline personality disorder, finding out about it, adjusting to it in my head, and then as soon as I wrote one song medicated, then people started taking it in and started like, bro, I, I suffered like this, and, and I can relate. Oh, that just pushed me. Yeah, that was it. And now we're here. We've got yeah. the EP diagnosed coming soon. Yeah. When, 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 yeah. When's the when's the date for the EP? Well, it's looking like early 2009 now. 19. 2009. <laughs> Nine, yeah. 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 2019. But we've got medicated coming out soon this year before the uh, and then we've got a follow up to medicated as well part oh, two. Nice. So yeah, that's that's. Good. You got any you got any launch plans for that? Uh, not yet, not yet. It's all in the process. We're about to start the marketing campaign. Everything's about to kick off. So yeah, yeah keep keep your eye, keep your eye on this guy. The like, artist official. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we we what are you about to do? You're about to go and record some. Just do a little collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're always working, always making Ooh. music. Oh, uh, mate, always. A, yeah, I've got I've got, a, I've got a 14 track mixtape wrote ready to record as well. So that's coming soon. There's a lot coming. Honestly, Justin. follow this guy. <laughs> drop it down below. Honestly, this guy is absolutely sound right. Let's go Let's and record some fast. Do that, man. Check this. Look, I can't draw the perfect picture. I can't paint the perfect painting. I can't lead the perfect life. My vision's blurred. I feel like I'm fainting. And there's too many men them hating. And that's causing a lack of sleep. Life was way too shallow. But now I start to swim further. It's got too deep. Uh, and I can't turn back. The hands of time, they're moving fast. I remember my first year. Now 87 don't feel like the past. Hey. When I was happy, playing with toys and sitting in nappies Now the hoods are up and the guns are blowing and I'm all unhappy See my life changing, just like this beat when the bass kicks in It feels like yesterday, I was on the floor getting my face kicked in But it was yesterday that I ran to the loo and I was throwing up You see the day before that? When I realised Brexit's fucked, ayy One is in the ceiling, head high like space My head high is unbeaten, take you to another place, another place Alright guys, I've never seen it before, I'm knackered, I'm exhausted. See this man. Hello.